Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, we are going to be doing a quick little showcase of the brand new AGL Cell Jr. at Rainbow Status right here on the global version of the game. Now, this is a unit that I feel like a lot of people have been asking for for quite some time and I'm so glad they actually did him some justice, similar to the Int Krillin we got for Battlefield. And uh, yeah, he's pretty good. So what we're going to do before we jump into the gameplay is take a quick look at what he's all about, starting with his leader skill, which is Artificial Lifeforms Category, key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense, plus 120%. His super attack causes supreme damage and lowers the attack and defense of the enemy, and his passive gives him attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack plus 10% per Artificial Lifeforms Category ally on the team. And he also launches an additional super attack when your team has cell perfect form or perfect cell attacking in the same turn. And his links are attack the clones, brutal beatdown, nightmare, innocence, coward, shocking speed, and fierce battle, which, you know, some of them are very good links, but the issue that I've noticed is that he actually does not link that well with a lot of the units on his categories, especially the perfect cells, which is kind of disappointing, kind of sucks because he needs those guys to get the additional super on his passive, right? So, uh, yeah, that definitely was a little bit rough, but it is what it is, nothing you can do about it. And his categories are Androids, Artificial Life Forms, and Android slash Cell Saga. So that is the card for you guys. And as far as the team goes, we are gonna be bringing a full Android slash Cell Saga team, which also happens to be a full Artificial Life Forms team too. I mean, okay, technically this guy isn't Android slash Cell Saga, but I brought him because He's a good support unit, so he's going to be here to support the uh, uh, Cell Junior, of course. And uh, of course, oh, I also brought the Tech First Form Cell, which is technically in the database for Global, but you can't really acquire him at the moment. But just for fun, I thought, why not? So he's here as well. And this is the team, guys. We're going to jump into the AGL Kochita event here and uh, see what our boy Cell Jr. can do. We actually got a pretty damn good first rotation with the Cell Jr. as well as the Int Android 17. And uh, some of you guys might be like, yo, why is the Int 17 here? He kind of blows, doesn't he? And he does, I agree, he does kind of blow. But the reason that I brought him for this showcase is because he also happens, I mean, while blowing, he also happens to be the best linking partner for the Cell Jr and uh, that's pretty much the only reason he's here. Otherwise, I would not have brought him. He is not a very good unit at all, but uh, in this case, he's pretty good for us because he shares four links with the Cell Jr. for a total of 35% attack and plus two key. So uh, yeah, he's here um, for the support, and of course, the Metal Cooler is here for the support as well, so this is why I'm saying it's a good rotation because we have the Cell Jr., which doesn't really happen that often. I usually get the unit I'm trying to showcase on like the third slot, so I'm glad he's here. We also have his best linking partner in rotation, and we also have the uh, Metal Cooler with the 30% additional buff. So let's see what happens here, guys. We have 1.56 million attacks that right here. Can we get a crit? Start things off, nice. Okay, no crit, but 1.6 million. That's not bad. That is not too shabby at all. And we got 549K from the Android 17 as well, which uh, is actually better than I expected. So there we go. Um, of course, he didn't get the additional super, unfortunately, because we don't have, or we didn't have a perfect cell in rotation, which uh, should happen next turn. So uh, in the next rotation, on the next turn, we will be getting a guaranteed additional super as well. But I have a feeling that it's gonna be when Gogeta pops up because I'm pretty sure these cells, I mean, at least the first two cells, are gonna be finishing this Goku here. We'll see. It is a rainbowed Int LR cell, even though the Int LR cell does not, uh, you know, hit quite as hard as you want him to. He's still really good, guys. Like, let's be real. Even though he's probably, probably the worst Dokkan FS exclusive LR, I gotta admit to that, all right? I was kind of in between and going back and forth a little bit. Like, maybe he's better than, like, one of the Android or the uh, LR fusions or, um, Maybe he's. I mean, I was thinking about it. I was like, nah, never mind. No, a cell is probably very likely the worst Dokkan FS exclusive LR. But um, that being said, he's still really good. I don't know how we actually got onto this topic even, but uh, I do feel like every once in a while, especially when I'm in a video trying, you know, using the LR cell, I have to defend him a little bit. 
So, uh, yeah, you know what, getting back to the topic at hand, I don't know why we went there, but we got 1.4 mil guys from the Cell Jr. And um, the damage output is going to be a little bit lower because, of course, Gogeta does have a good amount of damage reduction. We got a 950k crit right there, and we did get additional super. So if you combine those two attack stats, that's 2.8 million generated from the Cell Jr. And he also got an additional from his passive too. Would have been nice if it was a super, but we did get three attacks out of that. Two of them are guaranteed if you do have the Cell, uh, the perfect Cell that is, on rotation. Um, he will get that guaranteed super. Uh, this also works for the physical LR cell, by the way. Even though it's perfect cell, wait, is it called? I think it's cell perfect form and cell junior, right? Um, yeah, I think so. Either way, doesn't even matter what he's called. It does work for him as well. So if you guys are curious about that, um, but yeah, not a bad showing, guys. Not bad at all. Uh, he actually hits harder than I expected. Not gonna lie. Um, I was expecting maybe like somewhere close to a million-ish damage and he outperformed that by like 40 to 50% so he is surprisingly good. Of course he does need some setup to get to this point. He's not just gonna be you know doing this much damage right out of the box especially if you put him on you know a, a Android's team without a, like a full complement of allies that are artificial life forms or you put him on some other team uh, like a extreme AGL team, for example, where there's not any cells or anything like that. Um, it could be a little bit rough for him, that's for sure. I will admit to that because he only is doing this much damage because we have all artificial life forms across the board at the moment. So he's getting that full 170, is it 170%? Yeah, 170% attack on his passive, right? And uh, defensively, as you can see, he's not doing bad either, man. 69, 34, uh, tanking these Gogeta blue hits for double-digit damage. I didn't check his defense, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhere hovering around like 100, uh, 100k, maybe a little bit under 100k. Okay, this is a true test, though. This is going to be the true test. We are getting super by Gogeta blue. This usually does quite a bit of damage, and he's taking it for 91k. Okay, so, yeah, I mean... <laughs> We're not going to be expecting him to do crazy tanking like the Int Krillin can. Um, I don't think that's really his role. I think he's mainly just a good like secondary damage dealer, uh, secondary attacker on a good uh, artificial life forms team or something like that. And uh, he does that job quite well, but don't expect to take him into like Super Battle Road or um, the legendary Goku event or something like that and expect him to be a great tank because that's probably not gonna happen. You know what, I'll check his defense after this if we get past this turn. With the three cells on rotation, um, it could be goodbye for Gogeta Blue. I mean, the cells are not doing that. I mean, the, like the LR cells are not doing that much damage, so we'll probably survive. Yeah, yeah, he'll probably survive this turn. Ah, oh, man. Cell, I wish you did more damage, man. The only knock I have against this guy is that he doesn't hit that hard. For a Dokkan Fest LR, um, I have him with one dupe on my main global, and uh, you know his damage is okay, it's respectable. But once again, there's a def there's a different tier of expectations for Dokkan Fest LRs because they are supposed to be some of the best units in the game, even by LR standards. And uh, I don't think Cell, the Intel LR Cell, really reaches those expectations. Um, oh, I forgot to check the defense. I'm pretty sure it's around 100k. I'm pretty sure. That's my bad, guys. I Sometimes when I talk too much, I forgot what I'm supposed to do in the videos. Um, but yeah, he, he, he's an okay defender, man. He, he, he can tank for you a little bit, but not, not too much. His main role is to do damage. And uh, we got the additional right there. I don't think we have a cell on rotation, so that must just be from the... That must just be from the hit of potential. And there we go, we took out Gogeta Blue with those final two supers from the Cell Jr. perfect ending to this showcase. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, he hit surprisingly hard. He surprised me at least. I was expecting a little bit less and he gave me a little bit more than I expected. So that's always a good thing. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's showcase, guys. Um, I know the team is a little bit wonky, a little bit weird, but I mean, it, it works for his passive. Like he got his full passive, he had his best thinking partner. And uh, we had a good support in the um, int, uh, what do you call it again, metal cooler as well, right? So it still works, it still works. And there you go, guys. Here is AGL Cell Jr. for you. Um, broke my expectations, hit surprisingly hard, and 
a pretty fun unit overall to play with. I like his super attack animation a lot, and uh, aside from all those things, man, aside from just like stuff you can do on paper and in practice, it's just a freaking summonable Cell Jr., man, which I personally have been wanting for some time. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting too, so um, that's another win right there. But that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this unit, whether or not he met your expectations or are you a little bit disappointed? Are you overwhelmed, underwhelmed? Whatever you are, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's showcase, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.